I'm making this video to tell you about a project that I am starting and also to ask you for your help. Brick by Brick is a, is a program that helps build school rooms and schools for kids that don't have one. When you partner with three of your children, you can build a school room or school with 500 bricks that cost $20 each. Behind me, you see a wall. Well, with ladies and gentlemen, that's Avery Scope. And uh, he joins me this morning with his dad, Darren. Uh, you're a nine there. You're 10 now. Yeah. That's like years ago, right? <laughs> you feeling weird. older? Mm, yeah, a little. Yeah, a little. Yeah. So you, you decided to get together and, and to build a school in, in Kenya yes. by raising money. What, 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 well, one day you just woke up and decided to do that? How did that happen? Um, well, my dad went to Wee Day, and, um, and, I, and when he came home, I asked him, what did you do today? And he said, well, I went to Wee Day, and uh, we, we talked about this project called Brick by Brick, and you need 500 bricks to build a school, and, and, which is, and each brick is $20, and 10, you need $10,000. And he asked me, do you want to do this? And I'm like, yes, of course, we must know 500 people. So, who would be willing to donate twenty dollars? And then you got taken on an adventure. You guys shot the videos, and twenty dollars at a time. You raised now up to twelve thousand dollars. Pretty amazing. And, yeah. and Darren, what do you feel about this? This whole experience. Um, it's it's been really enlightening. I think uh, I've learned a lot about uh, Avery and just uh, all the people have been so supportive, and just how so many people can rally around uh, a nine-year-old kid. It's been really impressive. He's had donations from people all the way from Prince Edward Island all the way to Vancouver. So it's been it's been really cool to watch, and it's been neat to see him uh, grow as uh, this project's gone on to. Mm -hmm. What do you think nine-year-olds should be doing? Ten-year-olds should be doing right now? Um, hey. Well. They should help people. Like it, you're never too young or too old to help people, so you should just keep on helping people. So how can I help you? Like how could we help you right now? How can we make this continue to go from here on? Um. Well, you could donate, or you could send me an email. That's go get mts.net. And you're going around to schools. You're talking to schools right now, and you want to continue to build more schools. Yes, I do. Right? Yeah, because right now I have twelve thousand, and I and I want to get to fifteen. I wish I had more time to speak with you, but uh, you want to thank RBC, of course. Yeah, RBC's been uh, fantastic. Uh, they've uh, they've been really uh, important to this whole project. Uh, we go into the RBC branch in Winnipeg, and the ladies there are always so welcoming. They hug an Avery, and he's like a rock star when he walks into the branch in Winnipeg, and just uh, bringing us out here for the We Create Change Tour. Uh, finale yesterday in Toronto was fantastic. It was, it's been a great experience, and uh, so we'd like to thank RBC and, and Free the Children as well. Of course. So you are a rock star. We're going to continue to raise money. Of course, we're going to try to build more schools. What I want you to do is go to bttoronto.ca for more information. Of course, we can connect with Avery. And come on, let's raise some more bricks and build more schools. How does that sound? Awesome. To my rock star, Avery. Have a thank great you. morning. Thanks, Darren, thank for coming you. this morning. I'm going to take a break right now from Breakfast Television.